Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my tech vault. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Dark Rock Slim. This is another cooler from Be Quiet. And interestingly enough, it's got 180 watts of uh, TDP. So that basically means that they can cool some pretty beefy processors. So really the question to ask is, and honestly I think everyone wants to know is, how big of a cooler is this? How does it look? And I guess the, the ultimate question is how well does it cool? So without further ado, we're gonna get into first off, start off with an unboxing. Then I'll go through and throw it on something. I'll test it, uh, get some thermal, uh, I guess thermals of it. Uh, we'll maybe see how loud it is. Um, I'm working getting an audio meter so we can see some of the other stuff that I review, how loud it is. But for right now, um, it's just, we're gonna have to take it from my word. Um, also, uh, probably maybe compare it to a couple other things and then we'll kind of wrap up with an overall opinion of it. Um, but let's get into start off with an unboxing. Hello and welcome back. I'm trying out a new camera setup so we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little interesting. Um, but we're going to start off with the unboxing. So here we go. Uh, let's get into this. I'm actually kind of excited because 180 watt TDP, it does not look like a large cooler. It does not really feel heavy so uh, what do we got on the top? So first off on the top we have a the little instructions. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be an installation guide, long list of stuff. Ooh, so we've got ourselves some foam, protective foam of course. Um, looks like that comes out. And looks like we've also got a box of accessories. Um, actually kind of heavy. Um, hopefully they have AM4 support, all the necessary support. Yeah, that looks like it. Um, so we've got an Intel and AMD bracket looks like. Um, we've got some clips. Actually, just seemed kind of like high quality too. Um, let's take out the cooler now. So there's the cooler. Um, as you can see here, wow. Gotta say, that's, that's a pretty nice looking cooler on the back. I'm not gonna lie there. Um, so it looks like it's got some rubber here to kind of protect the fan. Kind of an indent design here. Um, and then of course you have the heat sink itself um, or the contact. Um, yeah, really thin. Really a surprise there. Uh, really thin. Uh, looks good though. Um, it doesn't look out of place. I like the black color scheme. Definitely a perk there. Um, here we go for the fan. Um, so this is like a rather small fan. Um, but of course it is, uh, it looks like it's custom individually just for this. Um, you can see some of the, the other, like their case fans and stuff look nothing like this. So, um, that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, so yeah, it looks like that just lines up there. Uh, I'm gonna paste that downwards and I'm gonna figure out how to install the clips. So it looks like what they've done is they've included multiple clips in case you wanted to have um, maybe like a second fan on there or something. Um, I'm assuming, I, I'm, I'm just going to assume not really do much. Yeah, so it looks like it just clips on the sides um, as coolers go, this is actually quite a uh, thin design. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you take a look at that. Um, definitely looks quite thin. Um, kind of reminds me of the Hyper, two, or Hyper 212 Evo. Um, definitely a really small cooler. I'm interested to see how well it actually performs, though. Um, I'm also tempted to turn it up on full blast on uh, CPU and see what we get. Um, so... Uh, here's what we're going to do. First off, I'm going to probably pull out a system. Um, there will be an AMD build with this though coming up. I've got a case, um, power supply, and this cooler now. And we're going to basically go through and build an all, um, using all Be Quiet parts uh, when applicable. Um, we're basically going to throw the sucker in there um, and see what we got from there. Um, but also, let's go through and do the testing. Um, but overall, nice solid design. Uh, good looking back, um, and yeah, that looks good. So let's get in, let's throw it on a system and see what we got. Without you, I remember myself, my name, forgot about all you tried. Change familiar was the sound of your voice as I continue to walk all by. It has been a year and now I'm living on the line. It has been a year and now I'm thinking 
What's up everybody, welcome back. And I've let this run for about 30 minutes now. Obviously with an air cooler, that's not necessarily necessary. Um, but I wanted to kind of give it a good time to kind of heat up and stuff. Obviously this is an open case, to, um, or not really, there's no case. Um, so therefore the temperatures will be you know slightly better. Um, but currently we're sitting at 62 under max load. Um, I don't even believe the cooler's kicked up all the way. Um, there's actually like different um, tiers the cooler has kicked up, or the sorry, the fan has kicked up. Um, so it's interesting because rather than, you know, the cooler under, you know, you have the steps or the stepping for the cooler that you set in the BIOS. Um, and honestly, something that's really interesting about this is that the cooler itself doesn't turn on um, under very little stepping um, or under very little load. So the, this, the fan itself isn't actually on. Obviously right now it's dead silent, like under full load, completely dead silent. Like I can't even hear anything. Obviously I might hear a little bit of something from this um, GPU, but for the most part, it's dead silent. So really, for keeping it under full load, um, it was a 95 watt i5 underneath here, so it's uh, not anything special, um, but it is about half load and it's still dead quiet. Now obviously I plan on having one of my, uh, put one of the, maybe the Ryzen 2700X on it, on an upcoming build that I'm working on. Um, that will probably be the next thing. Obviously it'll be a full be quiet build. Um, but that's the, basically the plan from there. Um, a couple of things to keep in mind during the process of putting this all together. Um, first off, um, the instructions are a little uh, vague on um, the bar that goes across the bottom to hold this on. Just know that it should be flipped down so that the uh, divots uh, line up with the heatsink. Um, but that was the only downside, I guess, for me for putting this on. Other than that, though, extremely solid cooler. Um, does a great job and keeps things very quiet, especially for being quite thin. Um, you've got a lot of RAM clearance, so the clearance between the RAM and the um, cooler itself is also pretty substantial, so I'm happy with that as well. Um, but overall, really, really solid cooler and really surprising on how well it actually ends up performing, um, especially you know when you throw it into something and also staying quiet, which, be quiet, you lived up to your name, so good job. Um, also include a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing this. This did come out today, so I was very lucky to get my hands on it beforehand. Um, but as I said, thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day, and uh, goodbye.